This is a demonstration of a simple DC motor. What we have here is we have a 6 volt lantern battery. We have an alligator clip, another alligator clip arrangement, and over here what we have is we have a simple wound coil. It's just enameled wire, magnet wire that's been wound in a rectangular pattern. On one end the enamel has been stripped off so there's no insulation, there's bare wire on the other on this end. And on this end the trick is the insulation has been stripped off only on one side. The other side is still insulated. The reason for that is so that it has a commutating effect and that's so that on one half of the turn, electrical current will flow through the coil. On the other half of the turn, uh, the, there is no electrical current in the coil and it's just free running. So in other words, momentum carries it over for half a turn. Here we have, this is the standard magnet. Actually, there's two magnets here. All right. And to make this motor work, you really only need one magnet on one side, you can put the other magnet on the other side to give it uh, more power. But we'll just set that like here. Over here, this is nothing more than 12 gauge electrical wire just bent up. Okay, so that's just 12 gauge electrical wire. Same on the other end. Alright, so let's apply current. Alright. And sometimes, depending on where the commutator sits, we have to give it a little spin. And there it is. So there's our motor in action. We can take the magnet, and depending on where you hold the magnet and how close you hold it, you'll get more force and more speed. Alright. So there you have it. A simple DC motor.